Hello guys, so you know what time it is. What time is it? It's time for the kick review. Hey. Okay, that's enough for the intro. Anyway guys, you know the drill. Make sure you are subscribed to this channel. If not, you are in trouble. No. Smash that subscribe button, click the like. This is the Maddie by Bonnie Brown kit review today by yours truly, Miss Who? Miss Serenity Smith. Yes, yes, yes. Who is that? I don't know. Um, anyway, here's here here's here's what I got to show you guys. Boom ya Mmm. So this is a certificate of authenticity. Authenticity. Sorry, authenticity. Okay, that part. Um, it is the first edition, 319 out of what I think say 800 sets worldwide. Signed by yours truly, Bonnie Brown, on the. COA, so look like this is gonna have a second edition. Um, okay, so as you can see, this is a chunky, chunky baby. I'm gonna give you guys an honest review. My disclosure is, is that this is my opinion and only my opinion, and my opinion cannot be held in the court of law because it's just an opinion, so therefore, uh, yeah, take it or leave it. Um, this kit was not my favorite. <laughs> um, I was definitely not into this kit originally. This is one of those deals where when the prototype makes or breaks the kit, and I will have to say hands, hands, uh, hands down, hands up, Hands down to the prototype artists because all of them was fabulous. I did not even see a bad prototype. There are two in particular that I drove my little mind insane. You guys know with the one with the little blue dress on. Oh my gosh. My little heart went poop, poop, poop. Anyway, so let me talk about the kit. So the kit is... Jesus Christ. Sorry guys, I didn't... Oh, I hate myself when I do that. Um, the kit is how many inches long? Oh my God, I should have did this before. All right. <laughs> sorry. I'm so sorry, guys. Forgive me. I haven't did a kit review in so long. The kit is 24 inches unfinished. Um, also, the head circumference conference is 16.5 inches it has full arms full legs it takes 22 millimeter eyes the cloth body is included this will be an open edition later the vinyl is a soft neutral this is all coming from macpherson crafts website okay okay so i've given my credits to who needs to have the credits now it's all about miss serenity smith and what the heck do she thinks so here's what I'm thinking, guys. This baby is is definitely a cute little smiler, a happy baby, chunky feet. Um, I'm gonna say what I like about it most is I love the fat little thighs. I mean, the, the, not little. We shouldn't even use little in no type of part of this review. So these are the these are the thighs, and they are, as you can see, look. I mean, I take my whole hand wrap around it and it's really nice the bottom of the feet is lovely and when I say lovely let me see if my camera will focus in on it oh baby no that was too much light okay well the feet are lovely and I'll tell you why the bottom of the feet it doesn't have extremely deep creases in the feet and I love that because I hate that. You know, the paint kind of settles in. It's hard to deal with that. Very subtle creasing. But you can see, like, literally, like, the fat in the, um, like, the baby has baby fat in the thighs and around the ankles and all that. I mean, it's lovely. This foot has one little toe up. And it's probably going to do well with a shoe. I'm going to show you, see what this, how this is going to work with shoes, to be honest. Because I'm a little... 
little concerned about the shoe thing. Um, this foot, this leg again, really cute, chunky baby. Um, the foot is doing some little twist to the side. Let me see if if you guys can see. So if the leg is like this, that foot is kind of like twisted. It has an arch down. The foot is pointing pointing down. And to me, honestly, if that would if I would have only one takeaway, it would be that I don't particularly like the position of the foot there. Um, just only mainly because one, I don't really know how that's gonna affect getting a shoe on. Let's see. I might have to try a bigger shoe, but I just it it may not affect it at all. But okay, this this shoe is is gonna be a tight fit. Come on, baby. Oh my God. Okay, so that that shoe is not gonna work really. Good Lord. I don't know if you guys could see. How I'm tr I'm struggling. It's the same size. Is it, but the, let me try another shoe. This is a bigger shoe. I don't normally dress my kits and stuff like that. I don't play with my kits before I paint. I know people say it's okay as long as you clean them good, but I just don't usually take the risk, but I'm just curious to see how this foot is going to work in a shoe. Yeah, so... It did fit this one, but I mean, yeah, so you can get it on there, but it's just not ideal for shoes. This this baby would, in my personal collection, just would not have shoes on, to be honest. It would just be in socks or no, sho no nothing barefoot. Um, that is my only takeaway, okay? The arms, beautiful fat rows. Um, I've seen other sculptors attempt this, this fat look and they look like Tootsie Rolls, but this one is naturally sculpted nice. It's really nice, I like it. I like the little fat, you know, and the hands of course, Let's see if you guys see it. Really nice hands, um, good nail bed. Um, you'll be able to get to the nails really good to do really nice nails on, on the fist. I like that. I love a real nice done fist. This arm is a little bit more straight than the other arm. This arm is bent a little more than what you see on camera because I was concerned about that. Again, another beautiful fist. Okay, so when you take these arms and you do it this way, they look like they're a little straight. But if you look at them from this angle, I don't know if that helps you guys see, they do have a bend to them. So it's not like the arms are just straight out like I thought they were originally. So I was glad to see that in person. Um, although she does do great with, you know, her arms being straight up or straight down. She's a bigger baby, so she would be doing different little movements. But So she is a little cheerleader. Yay! Um, so... I have no qualms, no, no, no bad things to say about the position of the baby at all. And even that little feet, I think it's going to be cute when it's posed and painted and stuff like that. It's just not a shoe baby for me. And that's something that artists, sculptors don't really particularly consider. They're just getting the realism. And I can respect that. Um, beautiful ears. Beautiful ears to paint. Um, again, not overly doing too much. Oh, this ear. Wow, that ear is different. Okay, look. This is this is this is the the, the beauty of real sculpting. Um, look at this ear, right? Now look at this ear. This ear to me, it it gives a lot more detail in that ear. Sometimes they lose detail when they go to the factory. Um, but this ear, this ear and this ear is not identical. I mean, they match, don't get me wrong, but I'm just saying the sculpting 
is very real realistic and amazing but this ear wow this ear is is different and it's it's the detail really picked up on this ear i don't know if you see the depth in the ear on this one versus this one it's not that much of a difference but i'm i'm just anal like that i admire bonnie brown sculpting so much too i pay attention to every little thing she does even in the back of the head is sculpted and and have like little fat rolls and stuff like that i mean the whole freaking kit is detailed like it's sculpted beautifully the whole kit like there is no i mean you can look at this baby from different angles and it still look nice you know how you turn some dolls to certain angles and they don't photograph well because it just don't look good from that angle not this one you can turn this one all around every which way and even with the little fat head it is very nice sculpted head um she's a cute little smaller she has very little lips very thin um she does seem to have a little bit of a gum in there and if you really really want to push it you can slit a pacifier a certain way and probably get a little bit of a modified pacifier thing going but I wouldn't bother I, because especially with her lips not being so poked out you would do a magnet real easy on this baby so so overall I think once again Bonnie Brown nailed it. It's definitely a buy kit. It's definitely a kit you want to have in your collection. Um, I I bought this one for my personal self. Um, I probably will go ahead and buy another one to paint for sale. Just depends on how this one come out. But let me just say this. Um, this kit is $139.99. So it is a higher end. It costs the same much as the toddler limb and um, so it is not the cheapest kit but the sculpting is amazing and I mean unfortunately guys sometimes we got to pay for real sculptors work I mean this is their livelihood this is how they make money I heard some people kind of complain about the prices on kits um, based off of the fact that they're not um limited edition truly kits um but you don't get that sculpting anywhere um you can you can go and buy the little knockoff kits and stuff like that but you won't get the detail and the realism um that you will get in one of these really really um master sculptors so again that i i really 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 have to say this is a beautiful baby after all i am very excited excited to have her in my collection um so yeah as you guys know i may be a little biased because i am truly a bonnie brown fan uh, so again that's that's still a blank scope but that's the picture i just i i love it so i'm gonna paint my baby um a light biracial or a light lighter skin tone AA baby that will be what this baby will be I doubt that I will go dark on her but I do think she will make a beautiful um, chocolate baby as well um, I just don't want to take the chance because I want to make sure she comes out very nice because I want to do all the details in these fat little thighs I think she needs some good little modeling on her thighs and nice veining subtle veins and stuff like that i think she's gonna she's gonna be gorgeous i'm gonna do a different look that i've never done ever since i've been painting i'm gonna try that with her i have a vision in my mind and i'm gonna try it so wish me luck <laughs> and thanks guys for watching um again like i said i will definitely um give this baby a thumbs up and a definitely go buy kit a recommended kit um, my most favorite thing would be my my least favorite thing would be the twisted foot the most favorite thing would definitely be the fat chubby look which as you guys know if you follow me i do not like obesity in children <laughs> sorry i shouldn't say that i do not normally like chubby chubby babies in dolls i love them in real babies because it's a sign of healthiness i guess 
in my my little mind that's the way i see it i love chubby babies in real but in doll kits i do not normally like chubby babies but once again it took a master artist to pull it off to where i actually like this chubby baby and this baby is gonna probably most definitely wear three to six months easy so thanks again thanks again guys for watching um i'm out of here